If you're new to Abbotsford Virtual School and you haven't used our uh, portal to get into your courses, so you go to my.abbyvirtual.com and you land to this page here. And you put in your credentials and, and then we can log right in. Now, if you haven't been in here before, you're going to be asked to just verify your email address, maybe your mailing address, those kinds of things. Once you do that, you end up landing on this page here. And you can see there's a few options in here. One we have just log out. Uh, you can see your online marks. You can refresh this page if something doesn't seem right. Bit of information to, if you want to have some help. And you can get yourself directly into Moodle through this button. But almost the same thing happens if you click on any of these courses. So um, that's how you would get into a course to start doing some learning. But before we do that, if you wanted to set a planned completion date for any course, you could click on the calendar and change that date to some point in the future. Uh, it depends on when you started as to what it will allow you to choose. So um, yeah, I think it's about 10 months or nine months in advance you can choose. So you can pick that. It doesn't really have any bearing on what we see as teachers. On the other end, it only shows, gives you a goal and so it shows you your progress in here. A um, little information button can tell you about what's going on in that progress bar. So I'll use that to help you understand what's going on and what you've done. Um, if you would like to withdraw from a course, this is the drop course button. Don't, don't hit, click that and, unless you're sure you'd really like to drop the course. Your teacher will probably just remove you from the course if you do that. Um, other than that, there are times when we do have courses more open for enrolling and you'll see a button up at the top that might say add courses and then you could click on that and that would allow you to add a course but that's only open during some periods and so yeah this is just the basic um, portal to get in if you'd like to go check out your course then you would just click on any of these so if I click on this one here you can see it quickly takes me over to my course and it doesn't actually take me into the course it just gets me to a place that I can now click on the course that I'd like to go to so hope that makes sense um, please ask your teacher if you have further questions about how to use any of our online portals and tools